In this video, we're going to talk about how to print your collagraphs. Collagraph printmaking is a very experimental process, so there's several different ways that you can use your plate to create imagery. The first way is you can just print the textures onto a piece of paper in a way called embossing. This works better if you use mostly matte board and solid surfaces. If you use a lot of plants, it doesn't necessarily work as well. Embossing can happen before you seal your plate. You can use saran wrap to cover up your plate so that when you're printing, you're just printing the textures and not any of the residue from the things that you use to create your piece. Once you have sealed your plate with saran wrap, you're going to use a foam brush and clean water to wet your watercolor paper or the thicker paper that you're printing on. You need a little bit thicker paper to print on for embossing and for collagraph printmaking because we're using texture, we don't want all of your textures to tear through the paper, so you need a somewhat strong paper. So I'm getting my watercolor paper wet and then I'm letting all of the water soak in. I don't want puddles, but I want it to soak in before I run it through the printing press. Once your watercolor paper is wet, it's time to set the printing press. You can see in this picture that there are dials that change the height of the printing press and the pressure. So we are going to go between 10 and 13 for our collagraph prints, but you can adjust them based on all of your test prints and what has worked better. The knob at the top of the printing press changes the bar height and the pressure, and you need to make sure that it is exactly the same on both sides of the printing press. Otherwise, you're going to have uneven pressure on one side. Whenever you go to print your plate, you're first going to layer print on a piece of newsprint, and then you're going to lay your wet or damp watercolor paper face down on top of your print. You need to get it all lined up. Then you're going to put another piece of newsprint on the top. This is to protect the printing press from any ink that might get on the felt or the printing press. You want to have a super clean area to print with. Then you're going to make all of your adjustments and use the large handle on the side to turn it and run your prints through the printing press. You'll check it over once you're all done and make sure that you're happy with the final image. Remember that a lot of collagraph printing is experimental, so you might have to try a couple different pressures and wetness of papers to get the exact type that you want. If you want to experiment a little bit more, you can add watercolor on top of your printing plate and run that through the press and just see what it does to your paper once you run it through the printing press. This is my final embossed print. Not all of my pieces came out exactly how I thought they would, but remember that this is all just one big experiment and we're testing out to see what different textures look like when you print them. When we go to print with ink, you first need to seal your mat board with some sort of sealant. So I have gone ahead and sprayed mine with some acrylic sealer and let it dry for a day before I go in and start mixing my ink. For my ink, I'm using one color, but you can use a couple different colors or gradients depending on what you're interested in printing for your piece. We are, in this case, using relief printing ink, so ink that we used for block printing, and we are adding just a little bit of water to that. I added a little too much in this video, um, but you're going to add a little bit of water and apply with a foam brush. You want to mix it really well so that the ink is a consistent texture, and you're going to be covering all of your printing plate or the areas that you want this color to print in with your foam brush. I'm making sure to add my ink everywhere that I want color to be where I'm printing and I'm making sure that I don't leave any puddles. So if I leave any pieces of extra ink, I'm going to go back through and blot them out because any puddles that I leave are going to be printed really messily when I run it through the printing press and it's not going to give me very much texture and detail. So my whole goal is to get some sort of texture in here. I'm covering the whole printing plate with ink 
So everywhere that there's ink is what is going to be printed. And then as the printing press presses the texture in, you're gonna have some lighter areas where there's texture and darker areas where there isn't. I wetted my paper again. Every time I go to print, I'm going to make sure that I wet my paper right before it goes into the printing press. Otherwise, my paper has a lot of time to dry. So there's going to be a station right by the printing press for you to wet your paper. I wrote down the height that I needed for my printing plate when I did my embossing. So I'm going to use that same height for when I go to print with my ink. Again, you'll want to make sure the measurement is exactly the same on both sides before you start printing. This is a super messy process, so I wanna make sure to use a good amount of newsprint underneath and on top of my print so that I don't get ink everywhere. Sometimes you can feel when it's not going to be enough pressure and you can make some adjustments as you roll it through. So here you can see that I had to make some adjustments. You are welcome to do that. Just make sure they're the same on both sides. This was my first print and you can tell that I had a little bit too much ink. So this is what too much ink looks like. This is an example of both too little ink and my paper was a little bit dry when I sent it through. So that can drastically change how your image looks as well. This is a good balance of damp paper as well as a good amount of ink on your printing plate. It's never going to be an exact replica of what your printing plate looked like because it is a texture print and we are experimenting in this project. After printing, sometimes your printing plate can look even cooler than your prints that you came out with themselves. Use your time with Collagraph printing to experiment and try new things 